Yo, what's going on guys? Mosey back here with another video today. Before I get started, I just wanted to ask you guys how you feel about Hunt Showdown, whether you like it or not, or what kind of videos you would like to see. Okay, so to get started, I wanted to talk about this new game mode Crytek has opened up for the alpha players called Run the Gauntlet. Before, there was speculation that this would be a group game mode where more than two players could team up in a lobby while taking down multiple bosses. However, with the release of this mode, we have found out that it's just two bounties on one map, but it's still locked to one to two people per group. So let's dive deeper into this game mode. Gauntlet is by far the best way to level up and earn rewards. If you're able to extract with both bounties while discovering all of the clues, your hunter will gain at least 3000 XP. On top of that, you can receive as much as $650 at the end of each round. This will give you the budget you need to create the best hunter build while leveling up insanely fast. For players that are less skilled at this game, this mode would help since there's two bosses and not every hunter will go towards the same central location, giving you less pressure and allowing you to extract while other hunters focus on the second boss. The downside of this game mode is that people will always know where you are after you kill the first boss. If you go for the gauntlet extract, it requires you to find all three clues, fight the boss, and to make it out alive, all while other hunters can see your marked location with the lightning. This creates a much harder challenge for more veteran players, and I can honestly say it was a lot of fun. So let's talk about the best setup to run this bounty. In my opinion, Quartermaster is a must. After all, you will be fighting more than one bosses. A shotgun is necessary for fighting the butcher, and having a rifle on you as well will not only benefit you during the spider fight, but since other players know your marked location, you're bound to be put in a long range situation where a pistol or a shotgun would be rendered useless. Make sure that you have at least two vitality shots on you, since you will be in a lobby for an extended amount of time. You will also need to carry a melee weapon with you in your tool slot for more stealth kills on zombies. Like always, be sure to equip a light and to fill the rest of your slots, make sure you have an antidote for the spider battle or if you get hit by a hive. And if you're high enough of a bloodline, I would highly suggest equipping a med kit. All of my thoughts on this new game mode are very positive. I always love a hard challenge and this really satisfies my need. I don't see any problems so far playing after three matches of this and I'm really excited to play more. That'll do it for this video today though, be sure to comment below your thoughts on Run the Gauntlet and be sure to let me know if you would like to run a few bounties. My Steam tag can be found in my channel description. Thanks for watching, hope you all enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up if you did, subscribe for more Hunch Showdown and I will see you in the next video.